In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to hide an element based on a specific page path on Elementor or Elementor Pro. Now, in case you're wondering how I created this video slider, I do have a video on this on my channel, probably just came out. So check it out. It's really easy to create a video slider using containers. And for those of you guys wondering what hosting I'm using for my development environment, I'm using InstaWP. You're able to create quick websites for your development environment and then you can push to production very quickly. This is how you can go ahead and go about doing it. As you can see here in this video, it is super quick. You can go ahead and select all of your plugins that you need very quickly, give it a name, and then create website, and then you're good to go. Definitely recommend InstaWP. I'll have a link down in the description. It is an affiliate link, so if you wanna support the channel, you can go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and begin here. So in order to hide an element, we're just going to be using some JavaScript here, and I'm actually going to write it out. So I'm going to go over doing it on a footer because sometimes I maybe just want to hide the element on the home page, but I want to go ahead and show the specific element on the rest of the pages, right? I'm sure you guys have had that before where maybe you have like a form on the, at the, the bottom, but on the home page, you don't want to display that form. You only want to display it on the other pages. So let's go ahead and do that here. Hopefully you guys understand what I mean there. So it's going to be very easy to do with just with some simple JavaScript here. Now let's go ahead and just do this here. So I'm going to go into a footer. So let's go ahead and add our element or our container, whatever that may be. I'm going to just add it. I'm going to add a new container down here. So I'm going to add this one here and I'm just going to Let's click on here, make this a distinguishable color. We can, we can notice, let's do that here. And then let's just give this a heading. There we go. So let's say I only want to go ahead and show this, this container here on the rest of the page pages, but I want to go ahead and hide it on the home page. Well, let's go ahead and write our, our, our jQuery here. So let's type in an HTML, let's get the HTML element and let's drag it in. Make sure that it is right under your container that you're hiding. That's always super important. So I'm going to put it right here for now, but of course you can place it anywhere as long as it's under it. And you can also put this in the Elementor code as well. That'll also work. But for this example, we're just going to put it here. So I'm going to type it out the script here. So I'm going to do a script and then we're going to write a function here. So first of all, let's go ahead and get jQuery into a variable there. So I'm going to do the dollar sign there, and then we're going to do jQuery just like that. Okay. So let's go to the next line and let's add our function here. So let's add the dollar sign there and then let's add our oval brackets there. Let's do a document in here. Cause we want to go ahead and get the document document, which is a HTML document. As many of you guys may know that already dot. So we're going to do dot ready there. And then we're going to go ahead and add our function inside here. So we're going to do a function just like that. We can give it a name if we wanted to, but for this example, I'm not really going to give it a name. I'm just going to do it like that there. I don't know why this here is like that. There we go. So that should be good there. And then let's go ahead and target our element here. But you know what, before we do that, let's go ahead and get the page path, right? So in order to do that, let's do it. Go ahead and do a variable. So let's do a let, let's give our variable name. So we're going to give it a page path name there. And then we're going to do window dot location dot path name there. So we're going to do path name and then, and then let's go ahead and add this into a console.log. Console.log and let's go ahead and log this out and see if we can get the page path for this. So let's go ahead and hit preview on this one. Let's go into in inspect here. Let's go to console. And there we have it. So this we can see here that we're on the home page. Now, if we go to the about, we're going to have a slash. You see that 
slash abouts and then a slash at the end there. So we kind of know how that looks like, right? Okay, if you wanted to hide it on the about page, it just really depends, right? So now that we know that that's working and we got that working there, let's go ahead and add a class to this section, sorry, container that we're going to hide here. So we're going to call this footer. We'll call this footer CTA section. We just call it footer CTA. All caps is fine. So let's go ahead and go back to our HTML here. And then let's get a variable of that. So let's do a const actually. And you know what? Well, let's, we can change this to const because it's, it's never going to change anyway. We're not going to change it again. So that is fine there. And then we'll do a const here of footer. We're going to call this variable footer CTA. And then we're going to equal that to, we're going to have to get it. So we're going to target the document. You know what, scratch that. I forgot that we're using jQuery there. So let's do a dollar sign there. Let's do some oval brackets. Let's put in some single quotes there and let's target our class here. So I think we called it a footer CTA just like that. So that's perfect. So now we're targeting that there, targeting our, our footer section, this one here, right? So what we want to do now, we can leave the console.log if you want, and I'll leave it there just for you guys. So we're going to write it. We're going to write an if statement basically, and we're going to do if page path is equal. So we're going to do two, e three equal signs just because we want to make sure that it's exact. And we're going to do a string here and we're going to add our dash here. So just one dash. Cause remember when we console.log that we only saw one dash, right? So this could also be about dash and then that would work too, just depending on what page you want to hide that on. Right? So now we just add our curly brackets here and let's go ahead and hide that. So we are doing jQuery. So it's going to make it so much easier when it comes to hiding stuff, right? We don't really got to do a style dot display none. We can just target the, the, the footer variable here. So I love using jQuery it makes it so much easier. We can do hide and hide is a method. It's, it's a function. It's a built in function into jQuery. That's going to go ahead and hide our footer container here, this one here. So we're just going to hit update. And if we're right on the home page, if we're on the home page, it's going to be gone. So you can see there. Now, if we go to the bout, it's going to be here. So that's super important. Something that's really awesome there. So you know what, what happened there? Okay, there we go. So don't know. I think it's cause I went back there. Okay. That was just a little bug there. So as you can see, it's working perfectly. Now you can use this with the footer. You can use this on a just specific page. Doesn't really matter. So just a cool thing to have. I just set up an example just for the footer, just to make that easy for you guys, just as a, as a, as a good example. So. That's pretty much it for this video. I'll go ahead and just have this script on my website. If you guys didn't go ahead and just follow along, you guys can just paste it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you have subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. So you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thanks for watching.